Hi, here we are at the Lars Training Center. Anytime you're servicing a piece of equipment, it must be performed by a licensed contractor. Also, gas and electric must be shut off prior to servicing that equipment. Thank you. Hi, my name is Steve Maruzzi. We're here at the Lars Training uh, Facility, and we're actually in the Lars Training Center. Uh, what we're going to do here is talk about the Magnatherm boiler, how to set up combustion, and that's going to range from 1 million 6 BTUs up to 4 million BTUs. We're actually going to go out to the factory floor where they live firing some equipment today and we're going to do combustion setup right out there. But prior to going, I want to talk about the jackets because out there on the factory floor they don't have the front doors or the jackets on. Very simply, with a flathead screwdriver you can open up the door, panels for the door. Okay. We'll talk about the navigation once we get out there for the screen to actually get into combustion setup. So our low fire adjustment is right here on the gas valve and in this case we're using a 2.5 millimeter Allen key okay? um, depending on your gas valve it may change in size. So this is where your low fire adjustment would be made and your high fire adjustment would be made right up here with a flathead screw okay? and there's plus and minus arrows right here on the valve so this is your high fire this is your low fire adjustment so with that let's go out to the factory floor and we'll actually do some live fire combustion testing okay so now here we are at the factory floor uh, we have a magnetherm 2 million BTU boiler we're actually going to live fire and do some combustion testing a couple things I want to mention first of all combustion testing must be done on startup in annual maintenance, uh, it has to be done by a licensed contractor. Right? Also, when we do our setup here at the factory, we only use a short piece of vent pipe. So when you get in the field and you're using 50 feet of vent, maybe 35 feet of combustion air, that's going to have different parameters, so you have to make sure it's adjusted. From the home screen, I'm going to touch the home screen. We actually have a call for heat. So if you look on the home screen, our boiler's running. We've got a 140 degree set point. Inlet temperature 67, outlet's 105. We have a flame signal. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into for combustion. We're going to touch diagnostics, diagnostic test. Here, you have to make sure we're locked in. So on the login, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock it, the login, press the padlock symbol, press the letters L N T, press OK, and you'll see our padlock unlocked. So what we want to do is we want to go into high fire first. So we're going to press maximum modulation, press start test, and you'll see our, our test timer has started. That's going to count up to five minutes. So now we have five minutes to dial in our CO2. Right here we're looking for CO2 at roughly 9%. This is a natural gas. Okay? High fire CO2 for natural gas is 9%. Propane is 10%. Plus or minus two tenths. So right here we can see we're at 8.96. Keep in mind, every analyzer could take 30 to 90 seconds to balance out. So depending on what piece of instrument or equipment you're using, be patient. All right? So, I'm going to make a slight adjustment to try and get to 9%. As I explained before, here's our high fire adjustment with plus or minus. Okay? Low fire's down here. With a small flathead screwdriver, I'm going to make a slight adjustment counterclockwise to see if we can get our analyzer up to 9% CO2. Now we can focus back here. Be patient. Make sure it balances out. So as you can see, I went a little too far. So we're going to make another slight adjustment to the negative side. Very slight adjustments. Be patient, wait for your analyzer to balance out. 
So now you can see we're at roughly 9% CO2, which is good. All right, what we want to do next is go to low fire. Our test timer has two, two minutes, 19 seconds used up. What I'm going to do for low fire, I'm going to press stop test, minimum modulation, restart the test again at zero. Now it's going to give me five minutes. In the manual, it will explain that your low fire CO2 in this case is 0.25% lower. Okay? So, we're going to be looking at roughly 8.75% CO2. We wait for our analyzer to balance out. So here you can see we need a slight adjustment. So with a number 2.5 millimeter Allen key, I'm going to place it in here. And I need to go less. So that's clockwise in this case for our low fire adjustment. Very slightly. Okay, so now you can see we're at roughly 8.74 CO2, which is close enough. So our high fire was 9%, low fire is 8.74. So that's it, that's your combustion. Now hit stop test. Go back to the main screen and let it run on its own. If you have any questions, uh, please refer to the manual, startup guides, or you can always contact our product support. That number is 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.